Hi, and welcome to Opti Health. Are you familiar with the line, our hair is our crowning glory? We do different ways of styling, blow drying, coloring, to make our lovely manes even more beautiful. And then it hits us, our scalp gets itchy. And if we have dark colored hair, flakes seem to be more noticeable and sometimes fall on our shoulders. What is your itchy, uncomfortable scalp trying to tell you? If you are experiencing these things, then watch the rest of the video, as we walk you through some simple remedies available at home. But before we start, please do like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to get updates on future videos. Let's get started. What is dandruff? Dandruff is a condition of the scalp that causes flakes of skin to appear. It's when cells on our scalp tend to shed faster than usual, and is more often than not, accompanied by itching. Many people believe that dandruff is caused by poor hygiene, but research tells us that that is not entirely true. Although infrequent shampooing can make it a little more obvious. The exact cause of dandruff is still unknown, however, mild dandruff is commonly liked to these factors that exacerbate the condition and make the symptoms seem worse. Allergy. People can have a wide variety of allergies from seafood to peanuts. A new product that you are using may be causing hypersensitivity, thus leading to flaking of your scalp. If this is the case, discontinue use of the product. If symptoms persist, seeking professional help is highly recommended. Dry skin. Dry skin is the most common cause of dandruff. If you suffer from dry skin or have a medical condition such as eczema, it is likely that your scalp will also become dry, flaky and probably also very itchy. Flakes due to dry skin usually appear smaller and less oily. Unfortunately, this can aggravate symptoms in people living in colder climates. Not shampooing enough. Oils and skin cells can build up on the scalp if you do not shampoo your hair properly, and on a regular basis. Male hormones also known as androgens, can also cause greasy or oily skin which can lead to dandruff. This make men more susceptible than women to build up in the scalp. On the other hand, shampooing too often can dry out the scalp and cause dandruff. It is recommended that you shampoo every other day to maintain a healthy balance. Irregular hair brushing. This can also increase your chances of having dandruff, as a buildup of dead skin occurs on the scalp. Air pollution. Polluted air can also contribute to dandruff. Chemicals which are circulating in the air can affect and cause irritation, or allergic reactions on the skin and scalp. Stress. Although the microbe malassezia is already present on everybody's scalp, it can thrive happily once it sees the opportunity of the immune system becoming compromised, or impaired, leading to the development of dandruff. Stress can worsen any type of skin problem and undermine the immune system. There are so many pricey products out there that promise you help in controlling dandruff, but sad to say that most of them contain harsh chemicals that harm your scalp and even make your hair, dull, dry and lifeless. Through this video, we aim to give you natural alternatives to help you get rid of dandruff with remedies that most of us already have in our homes. They are helpful to us budget-wise, not to mention more gentle to our skin and scalp. Aloe Vera. This humble succulent is frequently added to ointments, lotions and other cosmetics. An excellent remedy for various skin and hair issues. It contains natural antifungal and antibacterial properties and nutrients that help control dandruff. Cut the aloe vera in half and scrape the gel. You'll need half a cup. Mix the aloe gel with half a lemon. Massage the mixture on your scalp for 5 minutes. This promotes hair follicle stimulation and boosts hair growth. Put on a shower cap for 15 to 20 minutes. Wash hair with warm water. By this you are allowing the pores of the scalp to open up and remove dirt and residue. Repeat once a week. Coconut Oil. Very well known for its various health benefits. Coconut oil will moisturize, neutralize and hydrate the scalp. Coconut oil and its compounds have also been shown to have antimicrobial properties. This prevents dryness, that can worsen the production of dandruff. 
Heat 2 tablespoons of coconut oil mixed with lemon juice, half a lemon. Apply the mixture to your scalp. Massage the mixture on your scalp for 5 minutes. Put a shower cap on for 15 to 20 minutes. Wash hair using a mild shampoo and rinse with warm water, to wash away dirt and residue. Repeat application once or twice a week. Apple Cider Vinegar One of the most effective and readily available home remedy for dandruff. It has antifungal properties that will eliminate dandruff causing fungus, therefore alleviating the itch one experiences. Apple cider vinegar has been associated with a variety of health benefits. These include improving insulin sensitivity and increasing weight loss. Using a spray bottle, mix 1 quarter cup of apple cider vinegar to 1 quarter cup water. Mix well. Wash hair and pat dry using a towel. Spray the remedy evenly on scalp. Put on a shower cap and let sit for 15 to 20 minutes. Rinse hair with warm water. Repeat once a week. Olive oil. Another great dandruff remedy found in the kitchen. This also has antifungal properties and helps reduce itching by moisturizing the scalp. Prevents dryness, brings softness and luster to your hair. Warm half a cup and apply oil on scalp and hair, and massage for 5 minutes. Cover hair with a shower cap, and leave on for 30 minutes. Wash hair with warm water and use a mild shampoo. Repeat remedy once a week. Baking soda. An ingredient conveniently available in pantries all over the world. Acts as a gentle exfoliant to remove dead skin cells and reduce scaling and itchiness has antifungal properties that are beneficial to the treatment of dandruff and helps relieve itching and skin irritation. Sprinkle 1 tablespoon of baking soda on wet hair. Massage and leave it on scalp for a whole minute. Rinse thoroughly with warm water. Shampoo as normal. Repeat once a week. Next time you spot some flakes on your hair and shoulders, give these home remedies a try, and keep your dandruff under control. However, if you have tried these home remedies for a couple of weeks and still see no results, you may want to consult to your doctor regarding the matter. Thank you for watching. Always remember to maintain a healthy diet, stay hydrated, and wash hands frequently, to avoid contacting germs and viruses. Also don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share, to keep updated on future videos.